Welcome to the waters off La Rochelle, uh, where sailing today has come to test the new Cabriolet version of the Amel 55, which was launched at the Paris Boat Show in December. So we've had about uh, 15 knots of wind average today. Uh, the boat being catch rigged uh, has quite a lot of control options, but that means that it's fairly simple to find uh, a good balance for the boat. The helm, once she is balanced, uh, is light. Uh, she's, she's pretty responsive. Uh, and of course, with all the controls here, it's uh, really easy um, to uh, tack, to, to, to jibe or to, um, you know, bear away. So she's very simply sailed. Um, you do need a second person because you need somebody to uh, slip the lines on the winches, but uh, you can sail her easily two up. So a key feature of any modern luxury boat is a bathing platform and the ML55 is no exception. It has a hydraulically operated bathing platform, but the advantage of this is that it tucks away very nicely on the transom. Being a centre cockpit catch, this boat has really a lot of room aft. So we've got a huge deck here for stretching out and relaxing. We've got a lot of storage space in here, a very deep aft lazarette. Room for the davits, uh, and of course, room for a whole window here for the aft cabin. All the sail controls on this boat are electronically controlled, apart from the mizzen sheet. You've got a staysail here, you've got a large genoa, uh, and of course the main, which is uh, quite a small sail, but it balances well with the mizzen. So there are two huge anchors, uh, a double windlass here, and one of the key advantages of the layout below is that there's a lot of space up in the bow for a really cavernous locker down here enough for storing uh, plenty of sails or uh, half a dozen fenders. This is the nerve centre of the boat below. Uh, you've got a nice white, wide chart table which accommodate a full width Admiralty chart or uh, French chart. Uh, you've got access to the electronics here which are specified as for Runo but you can choose pretty much anything you like. And you've got the entire 24 volt switch panel here as well with an easy reach. Interior design is an important element to this boat and the design you see here is a highly varnished mahogany uh, there's a choice of interior soft furnishings as well, and there are some really nice design touches here. One example is this table, which slides back and forth. There's also uh, a very deep, well-equipped galley on the boat, involving uh, several freezers, a fridge, a microwave, uh, and even, believe it or not, a coffee machine. So the centre cockpit design of this boat gives a really vast aft cabin. You've got a lot of light coming in here through these windows that I mentioned earlier. Some good flush hatches here. Again, the finish is uh, attractively woody, I think. Uh, and from where I'm sitting, I can lay eyes on no more than uh, eight separate lockers, all within easy reach. And storage is really uh, abundant on this boat. There are lockers everywhere in the bilges, down the sides, under pretty much every piece of furniture including the bed itself. 